What up? It's your boy Dino Red of the Red Rock Podcast Network. And you listen to my boy T. Wilson of the What Up Though Show. You better tell somebody, baby. Show your commentary on sports, entertainment, and alternative news. Hey, watch out now! Hey, come on! Hey, it's the what up, doe? The what up, doe? The what up, doe? Show. Yo, what up, doe? It's your boy T. Wilson coming to you live on a Tuesday afternoon. That's right, it's an afternoon. That's right, it's an afternoon. I do this on Tuesday afternoon today because I don't know what it is, man. Uh, You know, I work so many hours now with my new job, and now on Tuesdays is my only day to sleep in, and I do so. And so I get my show started a lot later than I normally start my show. So anyway, I hope you're all good with that, and I hope you're also all good with me having James Brown outbursts here and there because I've been watching the new James Brown movie. Well, it's not new, but it's newly on DVD. DVD, and I just can't stop watching it, and I get my hey, my James Brown movement so I'm about ready to do my thing, moving, doing it, you know, like like a sex machine. Uh, so I got my James Brown moments going on. So let's go on and get to some birthdays, shall we? Let's get to some birthdays, y'all. Can we get to some birthdays? Yeah, can we get to some birthdays? Take it to the bridge. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay, I got uh, from uh, McNair, Texas, a friend of mine, Cynthia Merchant Collins, a beautiful Cynthia Merchant Collins. What's up, Cynthia? Uh, uh, uh good friend of mine that was the person that hired me into this industry that I now work in uh, gave me a new path or gave me an opportunity for my new path on my uh, new career path, my new way. Anyway, all of that said, I'm trying to get the words right, but I can't get it right. So let's give it up for Mr. Mike Chan. What up, though? I also got a big up to the beautiful custom catering. Uh, when I was in Dallas over there, I, I joined CBF Church, great church. And uh, today is the birthday of Pastor Kevin Harris. What up, though, Kevin? And also, uh, I also want to give it up for Paula McCann Harris and a Jeremy Dwayne Banks. Happy birthday to all of y'all. Mm-hmm. And now that we done got the birthdays out the way, let's go on and get this party. Can we go on and get this party started? Yeah, can we go on and get this party started? Yeah, but let's go on and get this party started. What up, Joe Sports? After reaching a buyout agreement with the New York Knicks on Monday, Amari Stoudemire wasted little time in picking his new team. It's not the Lakers. No, 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 no. Not the San Antonio Spurs. No, 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 no. It looks like Stoudemire's next destination will be the Dallas Mavericks. That's right, the Dallas Mavericks. That didn't take long, did it? No, 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 no. Um, I'm trying to get rid of that. My bad. Anyway, uh, nobody's seen Los Angeles Lakers star Kobe Bryant on a basketball court since January 21st when they lost to the New Orleans Pelicans, much to the chagrin of the Hoopla crew because they love Kobe's underwear. On Monday night, Kobe, the interview, allowed fans to develop a better understanding of Bryant. It was an exhaustive examination of his 19-year career thus far, his overall legacy in the game, and what the future may hold. Will he leave or will he stay? Will I stay or will I go? Bryant shared a side of himself that most often aren't afforded. I didn't see it. I didn't care. But I know who did. Because they love Kobe's underwear. Down one point with 8.3 seconds left, Juwan Staten went coast-to-coast for the go-ahead layup that ended up being the difference in West Virginia's 62-61 upset victory over number 8, Kansas Jayhawks. I know who loves that. Latone loves that because he hates the Kansas Jayhawks. 
He hates Paul Pierce for being a Kansas Jayhawk. He hates everything Kansas that I can think of. Anyway, final bucket was part of, except for, anyway, I'm going to leave it alone. I'll get back to you, buddy. The final bucket was part of Staten's game-high 20 points for the Mountaineers in uh, the upset victory. Javon Carter was the only player on, in double figures for the home team with 13. The big difference was the team's effort on the boards as West Virginia finished with 22 offensive rebounds. That, my friends, is called domination. And now it's time for an entertainment report with your boy, Buck Nutty. What up, though, Buck Nutty? What up, dude? It's your boy, Buck Nutter, coming to you live with an entertainment report. Amber Rose and Khloe Kardashian can shut down their Twitter beef because Tiger is not sleeping with 17-year-old Kylie Jenner. At least that's what Tiger says. Tiger hit up the Breakfast Club to clear up the rumors he's banging the youngest Jenner sister. He explained, no, I'm not dating Kylie. I want to be clear to everybody. I didn't leave my family to be with no 17-year-old Kylie. That's ridiculous. Tiger also talked about his feud with Drake and took a stand on the Lil Wayne Birdman War, claiming he hasn't received a single dollar in royalty from cash money his damn self. Guess he's siding with Lil Wayne, beefing with his daddy. <laughs> Wiz Khalifa is gunning for more custody of his one-year-old son because he believes Amber Rose is a bad mama. Wiz's camp has put together a laundry list of complaints, including Amber often stays out all goddamn night, requiring their relatives and staff take over. The family dog eats his own feces and then licks the baby's face. When he wakes up, she'll play with the kid for 15 minutes or so, then disappear into the wind, going to the strip club. Amber and LeBron have a volatile relationship laced with shouting matches and vulgar exchanges, which upset the boy. And during the argument, the N-world was hurled by Amber's mama. Wiz hasn't filed legal docs yet, but... Stay tuned. <laughs> Amber Rose won't stop until she's at war with all of the Kardashian and Jenna sisters. She just yanked Kim Kardashian into what started out as a jab at Kylie Jenner by calling her a whore. Amber started the shade slinging by going on the radio show and ripping Tiger for dating 17-year-old Kylie Jenner. The backstory, of course, is Tiger's ex, Black China, is Amber's best friend. Then Khloe Kardashian stood up for her kid sister with a tweet reminding everyone that Amber's admitted that she was a stripper since the age of 15. Now Amber's fired back with a gem of a meme, a pic of Kanye West with the text, when your sister-in-law calls out your ex for being a stripper, but your wife has a sex tape. And that was Amber's second salvo blowing up Kim. Earlier she tweeted Chloe, I'll be that little whore you call me to support my family like your older sister is a whore to support her. Damn Amber is going off. This is your boy Buck Nutter coming to you live for the What Up Doe show. Yeah, What Up Doe. Thank you for that uh, entertainment report there, Buck Nutty. Uh, one more entertainment story I got before I move on. Uh, Ray J's girlfriend, Princess Love, was arrested in New Orleans for allegedly beating him to a bloody pulp. It just happened last Wednesday after Ray J returned to his hotel after spending the night with TV producers at a strip joint. Ray J uh, told cops Princess went ballistic and attacked him, cracking several ribs, uh, busting his lip open, and tearing his ACL. Um... Ray J ran out of the room and a hotel security guard saw him bleeding and called 911. Princess was arrested and booked for domestic abuse and battery. Ray J himself bailed her out and paid $10,000 for her lawyer. What? Ray J bailed her out what? and paid $10,000 for her lawyer. What? That's what I said. What in the farmer maja? That, in my opinion, is pure bitch of the week material. 7.30. Come experience pop, pop, pop culture from the dark side. <laughs> on the 7.30 show with me, Latone Hart. Ooh, I, I need my cigar on this. Available on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, TuneIn, Betamax, and VHS. Yo, what's up with your boy? I'm just a man with a fork and a world full of soup. No, I don't need no damn medicine. Latone Hart. He may need medicine. Check me out on the 730 Show podcast. What up, Doe News? What up, Doe News? Told y'all that's what he was going to say. I know how this show go. In London, a British poet who gained international attention with a poem with the, uh, about his small penis is throwing a party in London to celebrate. 
Tiny Todgers and a many members. All in their drawers. <laughs> Ant Smith, whose poem about his penis, Crooked Little Finger, earned him international attention, said this big small penis party in London is aimed at celebrating wee willies and encouraging men not to give in to body shame. All in their drawers. <laughs> This multimedia comedy cabaret extravagance will cure all ill, set society on a better path, and bring us world peace, Smith said. Or maybe not, but it will prove that life's just too short to be hung up on little things. All in a draw. Smith said the event will include performances from comedians, musicians, and London's finest naked poets. All in a draw. In East Pinsboro Township, Pennsylvania, an Oscar Mayer Wienermobile slid off an icy road and slammed into a pole. Do you want to ride? No one was injured in the crash, but the sausage-shaped Wienermobile suffered major damage to its front fender and windshield. Wienermo- Wienermobiles, cars shaped like Oscar Mayer hot dog buns, have been used to promote the meat company since the 1930s. Do you want to ride? In the backseat of my caddy and chop it up with do or die. In Gold Coast, Australia, an Australian woman was recently shocked to find out that her credit card that previously had a limit of $50,000 suddenly had an available balance of nearly $10 million. I am delivered! Sue Lamb, 49, was taking money out of her business credit card account at an ATM and noticed her available balance had changed to $9,990,420. I am delivered! Just checked my credit card, which has a limit of 50 k and guess what? I'm a millionaire! I am delivered! That's what she posted on her Facebook page Sunday. Check out the balance! Plus, I've got no debt on it, so strange! <laughs> Woohoo! Let's go, girls! Tahiti sounds nice! Maybe it's best I fess up. I am delivered! The bank charged the balance to the original amount, but also left Lamb with $7,500 in overdraft fees. Despite the fact she reported the incident. The bank uh, have just left me with a massive debt and won't pick up the calls. They won't pick up my calls. They won't answer my calls. They won't let me clear this mess up. She told the What Up Though show, It is disgusting what they can treat. How they can treat people. It's disgusting that they would treat somebody like this. I'm a great customer. There's some bullshit. Oh, shit. Oh, but you were happy a little while ago. When you thought it was working out in your favor, you were ready to go to Tahiti. You were laughing out loud on Facebook. Now you're upset because it backfired on you. Hmm. And let's do this for a minute, y'all. This is something we hadn't done in a while. It's now time for your Facebook question of the day. You're on your first date. This question is for women. You're on your first date, and he takes you to Popeye's Chicken. What do you say? I don't know what you would say, but I know what she said when I uh, took my date to Popeye's on the first date. She said, Ooh, please, can I have some seconds? Ooh, please, can I have some more? Ooh, please, can I have some more, more, more? It beats rice. <laughs> right. oh, that is just stupid McNubit And I want to say uh, Thank you guys for listening man That's my show for the day I want to say big up to my man Latone Hart He does a show called the 730 show And he be bullshitting uh, He does a show called the uh, 730 You can catch it on uh, to Spreaker.com, Stitcher.com and iTunes uh, Big up to my man Dino Red He does a show called the Shiznit show He also co-hosts a show called Hoopla uh, they talk basketball from a West Coast perspective because they suck. Also, I want to say big up to my girl, Lavinia. She be showing up. She does a show called Straight 
No Chaser, and also a show called Just Thinking Out Loud with her cousin Brigetto Rising. I just heard their new episode last night. Funny, funny show, man. Those girls just crack me the hell up. I love them. Uh, also, I want to say big up to my man Gil Laurie of The Onyx Truth. Enrique Black of the Five Minutes Away podcast and Murray Riley Jr. of the Sky Shout Radio podcast all can be heard on Stitcher.com. And last but not least, my girls Keish and Georgette of the Relationship Handbook Live on Blog Talk Radio. That's all I got, man. Peace out. Pray crease out. Keep the police out while I bust his niece out. And I'm out of here like last year. Peace. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. What up, dude? Rocking with my main man T all the way from Southwest Detroit, where they probably made the word what up, though. You feel me?